Hello friends, welcome to Southern Ohio. I found myself here en route to a family vacation. It's gonna be a really good time in Tennessee. But on the way to Tennessee via Ohio from Florida, I've been doing a lot of traveling. I'm stopping along the way, off, off of the freeways, just taking country roads. I'm finding like unique things like I always like to do. Today, I've found Lock 48. It's here off of the Scioto River. The river doesn't go through here anymore, but this, where I'm standing, is the Lock 48, the historical Lock 48. Before railroads became popular in the mid-1800s, the canal that connected the East Coast to the Gulf of Mexico came right through here, right through here, in this very lock. Now, there's, you can tell there's no water, just weeds, drain water, maybe. But this was a very important part of the transportation systems in the early 1800s. This was built in, I think, the early early uh, 1820s, late 1820s, something like that. I'll confirm. Stand by. Not very wide, huh? This is the historical marker. I saw the sign on the side of the road that says historical marker. It's right over there. But this is it. I've never seen one like this before. Just, just a regular looking sign. You know, I'm a sucker for those historical markers. I just have a hard time passing them by. So when I saw it, I had to pull the new, the new Honda C. Meet the new Honda C. Here it is. It's blue. It's actually a 07 Honda like the other one. This was just a a little different version, a lot different. Last one was a stick shift. This is automatic. It's got way more miles on this one, but it's a little nicer. I like this one. I, I'm kind of connecting to it already. So let's go. I'm getting very close to the Ohio River I'm near Portsmouth, the southern, southern part of Ohio. And I'm so far out here in the middle of the nothingness. I wanted to show you something I noticed along the side of the road here. See that telephone pole? Over there, that's using the original glass insulators on it. And I, it looks like the old copper line because it's kind of green over there. <laughs> I've never seen that. It's a whole roadway full of the old electric power line. See the old ones back there? All covered up with grass and pines and stuff. talking about all the Civil War trails in the area. So we're here. Okay. We're gonna be right around this area. I knew I'd find you here somewhere. That's the destination, Sevierville. But I did have to pass by several historical markers. It seems like through the countryside, there are so many historical markers, so many of them. Just not enough time to stop and, and smell the roses at all these places, you know what I mean? So, uh, in order to get to my destination, Sevierville, to meet my family in time for dinner this evening, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. I've jumped on the freeway, I don't like doing that, but I did jump on the freeway for a small stint here just to save a little bit of time. Maybe we'll see something else here. I can stop and check out. They offer this little walking trail for dogs. And I saw this little doorway. All along this path, there are these little little tiny doorways. That was Star Wars themed. The QR code on them. I saw 10 of them. And another one. But I don't have any cell phone service out here, so I can't look up the QR code. Well, this is nice. The Welcome Center has this trail that ends with that picnic table area and this really nice view of northern Tennessee. Well, friends, 
as I have made it to Sevierville. I'm here at the cabin with the family. It's the next morning. I've had a good night's sleep. Got some editing done. Put a video out today. It's nice. And check out this view. Isn't this amazing? This is what I get to wake up to every day this week. It's amazing. Wow. This morning it was really cool because all the clouds cover up over the mountains and they just change so quickly and the, the view just changes. Every two minutes you look up and it's a, a different scene. Very neat. Love it out here. Love the mountains. Not as much as the beach, but I do love the mountains. I'm just about to go out and do some exploring. Probably go find a beer someplace, get some lunch. And I got to drive out of here. And this house is particularly high in the sky. I think it's the very last house on the road, as high up as you can get. And the drive down is a little treacherous. <laughs> Check this out. I can't even see over the edge of the car. No, I can't. Wow. Yeah, coming up this hill is a trip. It is a trip. I thought I was lost coming up here yesterday. You don't want to lose your footing here because you will you'll not have a good experience on the way down or probably on the way up if you're that lucky. I just visited a great brewery nearby. You can go to the Brew Traveler channel. I'll put a link to that right up above, right here. So you can see that video. But for now, I'm just poking around and seeing what else is going on out here in the wilderness of the Smoky Mountains on my way home. Smoky Mountain School of Cooking. Definitely in the Smoky Mountains. Bears everywhere. If you're in this area, these are all the sayings on things printed that you'll have available to you. I beg your pardon? There is a bear on most every shirt in this whole place. <laughs> a lot of Appalachian mountain sayings here. This shop has slingshots and glow sticks. They have a book section here and some of the most helpful books that I could imagine. To cooking with tomatoes, apples, honey, maple syrup. Wow, that's very nice. And best tent camping in Tennessee. Great stuff. Campfire foodie, an outdoor medicine, very helpful book. Smoky Mountain Magic. Ooh, okay. They say the black bears out here in the Smoky Mountains are pretty docile. And by the looks of this, no, I mean, you can tell. They're very docile. Look, it's like a family affair. Not aggressive at all. This guy's happy as heck. He might be a comedian. Who knows? Oh, you got a stand up routine, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Microwave popcorn on the cob. I've never seen that before. What the heck is this? Amish country? I don't know. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. I'm gonna buy it. I love stained glass art. Some mountain art. I always wondered where those Jeep people got those ducks. They didn't even squeak. This shop has got some really cool stuff. I like these Smoky Mountain National Park pins and patches. And lots of these stores have knives. Good ones. Friends, if you ever wanted to learn how to cook Appalachian style, this is the place to go. Check it out. Here's the times and dates and all the stuff you can learn. John, the owner, and his wife teach these cooking classes on Appalachian style cooking. They're pretty specific. You want to learn how to make dumplings or strawberry dumplings or like regular dumplings or uh, any other Appalachian kind of food, this is the place to come. This is great. And he gave me permission to take a look at the kitchen. Oh, okay. Well, this is where it happens. What a nice kitchen. Oh, a full on kitchen classroom. When you sign up for one of their classes, you get to make the food, they'll teach you how to do it, you get all the ingredients and everything, and you get one of these cool aprons to take home with you. Of course, all your leftovers and everything too. So, what a great deal. You know, it's like $89 and you get to learn for the rest of your life. You know, what's that saying? 
teach a man to, to cook dumplings and he can eat his whole life, something like that. Cool place. How'd you do? What a great place. Love this, all kinds of stuff here. You can learn how to cook Appalachian style, hang out with Sean and his wife, and all the good people around here. And you can stop and smell the flowers. They don't have any scent. These don't really smell like anything, but they look nice. Uh, one thing I miss about this part of the world is the hydrangeas. Beautiful this time of year. Right here at the top of one of these mountains on the way home to the, well, temporary home, is this portalette. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable using that portalette. It's right on the edge of a pretty steep cliff. <laughs> just, uh, just to show you, it's not that that it's not that bad, I guess. Okay, well, <laughs> what a weird spot. Onward. Thanks for joining me, friends, on this adventure into the Smoky Mountains. I appreciate your company. I'll see you in the next video.